All right, guys, and welcome back to the Saints VD channel for something content for a bit of an update. I thought I'd just sit down and have a chat, given the fact that there won't be a match review later today. Um, yeah, ugh, there, there are quite a few things we need to talk about. Some are good, some, I mean, not not great. Um, let's talk Let's talk about the not great. Um, of course, the Premier League has been postponed until the 4th of April, meaning that today's game against Norwich is not taking place. It doesn't actually affect Southampton that much because... This game's postponed, and then if the Premier League does go back to its original schedule, you know, our next game was scheduled to be the 4th of April anyway, which is when we take on Watford, because we're not in the FA Cup, and then there was an international break due to take place. But given the outbreak of the coronavirus and how serious it may be getting, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Um, my, my main concern was obviously in terms of the public, and I think the right decision was made in the sense that playing behind closed doors it would have it would have frustrated the fans, and it, I don't even think it'd be safe. You know, you look at the um, there are key people in football being diagnosed. A couple of players out in Italy, of course, Callum Hudson Odoi for Chelsea. The Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has it as well. It, it, you know, I just don't think it would have been safe. So the the right decision was made. However disappointed you are that we're not going to have football for a bit. You know, it, football's not as important as uh, as I have. You know, you got you got to have priorities and health of the entire country and the entire world essentially um has to be the priority um meaning that who knows when we're set to get next going to play i do hope that it's all sorted by the beginning of april but i don't think it will be um so for you know for creators like me we, we don't really know what's going to happen to be honest um i'm going to try and do bits of content here and there over this period, you know, I, I want to keep uploading. I just don't know what sort of thing we can do. So if you've got any ideas, do let me know in the comment section below. I think I'll do a QA and a at some point, so stay tuned for that. Um, of course, we've got the Norwich preview out. I, I wouldn't advise you to go and watch it. I mean, if you if you want to pretend that the game's happening today. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, all, it's all a bit shocking. I'm still a bit in um, shock about what's happened. Not even just the fact that it's postponed, but... You know, the whole outbreak of the coronavirus has just been mental. 2020, man, it's like, what, what has happened? Um, so that's the bad news. But the good news is that the voting has opened for the Football Content Awards 2020. Now, if you follow us on our socials, you will have seen that I've been, you know, I've been posting quite a bit over the last day. Um, so keep an eye out for that because that's going to be happening for the next, oh, I want to say two weeks. May, yeah, two weeks. Um, it closes in two weeks. So I put something on my Instagram story explaining it, but I thought I'd do the same on here because obviously we've got more subscribers than we do have followers. So essentially the Football Content Awards are an award is an awards night that this year is being hosted at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Last year it was hosted at the Etihad. You may remember me going up there. I was kindly invited to go represent the channel. I mean, we'd literally just started at that point. I think we're on like 300 subscribers at that point. Um, so this year we want to go and... At the, at the very least, go as a nominee. Um, of course, we want to win, um, but there are some very, very good creators out there, so it'll be difficult. But what you guys need to do is essentially vote for us. It's, it's simply put, um, I will put the link in the description below on how you can do that, the website you need to click. So there are three ways you can vote for us. And so if, if you do each way, it counts as three votes. So first of all, you can click on the link that I've put in the description below Follow the instructions, literally just scroll down to the best new content creator and type in the Saints for you, place your vote, and that's it. That's the category we go for, best new content creator. Um, and then if you have Instagram, you can tag us in the post relating to that um, category. So I keep posting the post on our story. So follow us on our Instagram, keep checking our story, and then you can go click on our story, find the post, tag us, and that counts as a vote. Or if you also have Twitter, you can tweet out the text that I've got pinned on the Twitter account. So it's very, very easy to do and it would help us out a lot. So what you're doing now is essentially nominating us to be a nominee, if that makes sense. So it's not necessarily voting because literally anyone can be nominated. But the top people who receive the most nominations, I think there are, I think it goes to 15, 15 nominees per category. They will be shortlisted. And I think that shortlist is announced early April time. And then what I then would get you to do is vote for us to go and win it. Obviously, we'll have that conversation if we get nominated. 
and make the shortlist. But for now, keep voting for us, nominating us, however you want to call it. There are three different ways to do it. You know, make sure you are following us on our socials because you will then know how to do it. And then you'll keep getting reminded and you can keep supporting the channel. You know, we've, had, we've got some really good subscribers, loyal subscribers here. And it'd be really nice to see them support the channel in this way because, you know, you've been commenting great stuff all through the season. We would love to win something, um, at the very least be a nominee. But that night was so special. And, you know, I was invited. It was very kind, but I was watching other people sort of be nominated, win their awards. And I didn't feel that much as a part of it as maybe I could have been. So if if we went up as a nominee, that would be sensational. Me, Josh, Tom, Liam, we'd all try and go as a group. Um, so yeah, please, if you do love the channel, if you care about the channel, if you enjoy watching our content, go and vote for us. And that's all I've got to say. Like I said, I don't know what sort of content is going to be happening over the next few weeks up until that Watford game, even if it happens. Um, of course, if there's a statement made about the Premier League, we'll react to that and I'll do a video on that. But for now... All I really need you guys to do is vote for us in this uh, football content awards thing. Um, <clears throat> I don't, I can't really ask you to support the channel because I don't think we're going to be getting much content out. So, yeah, all I've got to say is thank you for your support. Keep, <laughs> keep with it. Um, I hope you guys keep safe. That's the main thing. Look out for your families, your friends, and main, and also yourselves. Like, just, just stay safe, stay healthy. Luckily, I'm healthy. My family's healthy, and we should be all right. Um. That's all I've got to say. So, health channel, keep supporting it. Vote for us. That's all I've got to say. Thank you very much for watching the video. Leave it a like if you have enjoyed it. I want to know what you think about this whole coronavirus thing and the postponement of the Premier League. So let us know in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you've voted. Um, if you send me a DM uh, or like with a screenshot of you voting or whatever, I will be following some of you back. So look out for that. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.